All right, good afternoon. My name is Scar Navarro and I'm Drama King, where life is drama, drama is life. And today, though, this is not the video that I had in mind, but this is something where I feel like I, I want to give my two cents in regards to what had happened yesterday. Yesterday, I've never seen this extremity. It was, I've never seen something just as worse than what I've seen in my 28 soon to be 29 years of living in this earth N and never have I seen such coward such coward such cowardly moves by people who can't accept the fact that their that their leader lost the, these uneducated folks who went to the White House went and looted went and did all the barbaric ass shit and the fact that the police did absolutely fucking nothing Majority of them. And there's also a picture yesterday where where um one of the one of the one of the treasonous I'm gonna say it like it is, but and the police officer took a picture together. <clears throat> and the fact that another one is that a that a black police officer had to run because these people because of the crazy ass mob that's out there. And people are gonna see Oh no, because Black, did that, Black Lives Matter did that. I'm like, no. The reason there's a difference between those who protest for Black Lives Matter and those who who went and went and that mob from yesterday. The difference is those who protested for Black Lives Matter cared about cared about what was happening and were sick and were tired of police brutality and were tired of seeing black seeing black folks seeing black men black women. Black brother, black children, black youth, black trans brothers, black non-binary, and even even our community as well. Seeing our brown brothers and sisters, and the fact is, we were sick and tired of seeing so many, so many lives being taken just because they were black, and they were taken by tyrannical police officers who did not care, and were. And these racist police officers who don't mind using their power and getting away with it. And the fact that they use their privilege to do what they want. Pretending that they can get away with it. And then what also bothers me, bothered me about yesterday is that there, is that there was so much complicitness from, from Ted Cruz, Josh Halley, and many, many more who sided with them to overturn the results and the fact that these people openly were committing sedition and were trying to trying to commit treason these people along with Cruz and Halley who supported this bullcrap should should resign and these and please excuse my language these white trash support these white trash crim terrorists they need to be locked up too it is a goddamn shame that these people are walking around with no fucking mask when there's the middle of a pandemic. That is not, that is beyond fucked up. And there is also another one of the crazy people. She, uh, one of them was from San Diego. Someone who just died after getting shot. She was from San Diego and she was serving in, she was also serving in the Marines. I'm like, how can you betray, how could you betray what you put your life for to support a wannabe dictator I don't get it I don't fucking get it and the fact that these people don't care about anything other than themselves says a lot about why our country is like this and how it's been like this under Trump's sense and the fact that Trump instigated brought the worst out of these people shows you how ugly this country really is and how much we really need to work on and it's sad that these people who don't have either an education or have limited views try to destroy everything and not only that but there was a yesterday was a photo of a guy who kind of took a picture 
and was sitting was putting his feet on Nancy Pelosi's desk and even taking out her mail. And there was another one that took one of the podiums from the White House. Why? Why? And the fact that the National Guard came later on? Ha, what the fuck is this? Uh, I just could not believe in my eyes that this could really happen. And I'm not surprised too because these crazy supporters don't know how to think for themselves. And it's sad. And I want to ask those who, for those, for, for both black and brown Trump supporters, do you guys still support that after this? Do you guys, are you, are you guys willing to sell your beliefs and everything your, your, our people worked for to support a traitor? I ask myself this. And I am glad that everything is over. I'm glad that we finally got the Senate. We got the we got the House, and we got two new two new, and we got Biden and Harris. And I know you guys don't agree with my views, things like that. And you guys want to say whatever you want. That's fine. But if you guys still support this, these acts from these acts from yesterday, that these white trash, so these white trash pe this, these white trash supporters and excuse my language here that don't care about rules and are and don't care about living in a dictatorship and would rather listen to a man who can't take shit for who can't take shit at all then then you guys then people like then you people who support this shit like that Get the fuck out of my life. That's all I'm saying. And I know um, this is not something that a video that I usually do, but we we need to really wake up, folks. And you have family who are Trump supporters, things like that. Just just have just be distant. And I know this is beyond. This is something I cannot. I can't even digest well, but. I am beyond not just mad but I am beyond furious because the people who have who have protest for George Floyd cared about the situation and there were people who didn't and I and I get it but those who really protest and those who spoke out even use social media even for those who cannot get out and for those who educated themselves those are protesters these people from yesterday who went all in the White House doing all the crazy ass shit. These are not even protesters. These are animals. Don't ever compare us. Don't ever compare us people who who care about Black Lives Matter. Who care about LGBT rights. Who care about women's rights. Who care about, who care about change in this country. Don't ever call us animals. Those, those that you see. These old, these crazy ass people who were marching on the streets and going ah, without their mask and going all even 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 trashing the White House those are the real animals and I remember almost four years ago that I was said one of the worst things in my life and I was watching it from and I was watching the dollar the dollar more daily and I made a comment but this one did, definitely took it by far. And they told me that they would wish I was in a concentration camp. Yeah. That's how low their mindsets really are. And it's really sad that even people in our com even our black and brown, even black and brown Trump supporters don't even see that too. I'm like, you're supporting a man who does not care for this who does not care for this country, only cares about wanting to become a big mobster bully. And I feel like, right, I feel like Trump needs to be impeached again because this man has committed so many illegal acts and got away with it. But this time around, things really need to be done. There needs to be a 25th Amendment. There needs to be um, there needs to be impeachment. There, there needs to be, um, there needs to be a lot of prosecutions 
not just from Trump, but many of those who were involved in this in this act. And even Cruz, Holly, and many of those who supported this shit this shit fest also need to resign or need to be investigated. And I asked myself to Ted Cruz, how can you support a man who has insulted your wife, insulted your dad? I'm like, you're Cuban. And the fact you sell your beliefs, the fact you sold everything for for this dipshit, come on. Come on. And I hope the Texans one day vote his ass out. And and Josh and Josh Haley, he needs to also be his ass needs to be kicked out too. He should resign as well. And I know these are the two common examples here, but how I cannot understand people who who think this is okay. These people, these crazy ass supporters, need to be all prosecuted as well. And the guy that was like carrying Nancy Pelosi's mail needs to be needs to be locked up too. Hashtag lock them up and Trump too. Cause this is beyond horrific. And at least there's a good thing about this though. We got the Senate. And I know many people may not agree with my beliefs, things like that, but those are those are what I think and those are what I feel. You have your right to think like that, but please think about what 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 was done yesterday. Just think about it. And these people who these anti maskers, Karen's or Becky's need to really need to really start looking at their lives and how empty their lives are. And I try to be respectful of everyone's beliefs still, but what I saw today really 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 irritated me the most I never planned to do this video but I think it's important that we need to really evaluate what really happened yesterday and this is the first time that happened since like 1814 back when, when we were battling with the British and the fact that Trump tried to violate the Constitution once again and the fact that he has enablers who support this all need to be locked up. And the fact they're breaking constitutional laws again shows you that these people don't care about the constitution. They just care about wanting to put Trump and Trump as a dictator and use fascist extremes to get it. And I hope by the 20th he, he gets kicked out for good and I hope he gets his ass. I hope that Trump's ass gets Im gets Trump's ass gets impeached again and there needs to be a 25th amendment ASAP because this needs this thing this needs to end and we need to really act upon it if you know any um if you know any um can any um if you know any um If there's anything that you guys want to like help or anything that though, I'm really glad for, I'm thankful for it. Um, if you guys are still in the downtown area, please stay, please stay careful because these crazy, these Trump beasts, these treason supporters are, don't waste your time with them and go get exposed to them. And one, and also please, please stay safe because these people are crazy and they need, and these treasonists need to be locked up and I know today it's, I'm, I'm exploding in anger but this is how I feel it's time to lock them up it's time to lock it's time for them to be locked up it's time for these treason supporters to be locked up it's time for Trump to be locked up and it's time for Cruz, Halley and those who supported this need to be held accountable all right everyone um all right, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Um, if you like or dislike this video, I understand. And I know this video is not 
some not a video that I usually do, that I barely do, but we really need to move forward and we really need that 25th amendment to be passed. And Trump needs to be impeached impeach again. And I hope this time everybody wakes up. Especially those in the current Senate in the House. All right, everyone. Um, have a wonderful morning, rest of the morning, though. Please stay safe, please take care of yourselves. And please, please don't stoop to their level because they're not worth it. And let them, let them waddle in their misery. Let these, let these Bobs and Karens, let them waddle in their misery. All right, everyone. Um, have a wonderful rest of the morning and please take care and stay safe. And please wear a mask, wash your hands. And just be on the lookout, okay? But at least now, everything's over and there's nothing that these people like Cruz or Cruz or Hallie can do. They let them, let them waddle in their misery too. All right, guys, let's hold them accountable and stay safe and take good care. See you on the next one.